Hi everyone, my goal for this video is to lay down the steps that are necessary for someone in becoming an effective data analyst this year. What you see on the slide are six key areas that you need to know. I will go over these key areas in detail at a later point in the video, so please make sure to watch till the end. Data analytics, you need to know how to drive insight from data. Visualization, you have to be a good storyteller. Need to also understand high level summary statistics. SQL is at the heart of being a data analyst. Need to understand how SQL is written, how it is used to interact with data through databases. I will also go through some of the important applications you need to know in the toolkit section. EDA is one of the process I'll go through, which is critical for a data analyst and is used in real world projects over and over again. Let's begin. Who am I? Um, I've been working in information technology for 20 years and I've had the honor to work with the Fortune 100 companies and, and the top tier consulting firms. These are the roles that I've had in the past 20 years. Um, data analyst being one of them, and I can emphasize that this is one of the foundational roles for majority of the consultants I've seen. Galvanize did a survey last year regarding the salary ranges of, of data analysts. So you can see it's about between 80 to $120,000 in the US and it's growing. Um, so companies are willing to pay for good data analysts and there are more and more positions opening up as we see uh, the data growth going quite a bit high. The first area I want you to focus on is spreadsheets. I mean, if you're just starting out, I would, I would definitely encourage you to start to play around with spreadsheets, load data, you know, start to add filters, uh, apply sorting conditions, and start working with pivot tables and start using some of the basic functions, uh, you know, VLOOKUPs and, and string concatenations, uh, and also start using charts. So this is kind of your first stepping stone, mm -hmm. I would say, in uh, getting your your uh, career started in, in the data analyst field. So start loving the spreadsheets. And I can't emphasize for SQL, I mean, this is something that you have to have to learn. It's, it is simple, it's not as complex as Python or Java or C++. It's easy to learn and you have tables, you, you can join the tables, you can have functions applied to columns and uh, it's a great way to start to interact with data and, and, and get insights. Data visualization is another key aspect for, for a data analyst. You have to have a compelling story to tell. If you see on the right, I have given some of the key areas is you, you gotta have the right position, shape and size, color, when you're expressing uh, data through visualization. In this example, you can see there's a color palette being used. Horizontal axis, we have months, and vertical, we have states. And what is being captured is the temperature and the different scale in the color. So you know, June, July, August is the hottest of months and the color is depictive of that. So it, it becomes pretty easy for the audience to understand what the message you are trying to communicate. Next is statistics. You know, uh, not to worry too much here because when you start your career as a data analyst, you need to know summary statistics. Hey, what's the probability look like? Uh, mean, median, variance. You know, you have a bunch of data. You, you have a max and min value. You want to understand how the data is spread. You know, start with the basic linear regression model. Easier to understand. Um, and also understand how data is distributed over a normal distribution. That's, that's how you can see the bell curve here. So these are some of the areas in statistics that are important because you can start to apply that on raw data and, and try to get some idea as to where the data is going. Analytics is, is another process. Um, so as you can see, I have about six steps here. 
you know, start with data discovery profile what you have profile the data and then uh, you know we might have to go through data cleansing um, sort and arrange the data in such a way that business logic can be applied to it uh, and then you can apply visualization as well so as long as the data is clean and uh, it is the right data and, and authentic data you know those visualizations would be more impactful and with those visualizations and the business logic applied, key decisions can be made by stakeholders. And that's the whole end game. You bring the visualizations and the aggregated data to the stakeholders so they can make decisions, right? And that gives them the return on investment. And that's why data analysts are so important that they are helping companies make decisions. So EDA is exploratory data analysis. You know, this, again, when you start a, a project, you have to go through different phases. Um, you can be brought on in the start of the project, so you will have a raw file. You know, they'll be given, you'll be given a raw file of data, right? So you need to start doing data exploration. You need to start to profile the data, you know, see what type of data it is, what, how many columns, how many files, you know, what's the max value, what's the min value. If there are null values or data is not in the right form, data needs to be cleaned or transformed, you have to kind of go through that whole gather, discover, and cleanse and transform steps. Once that's done, then you can start to visualize the data better, run some summary statistics, and store that data for further use. What I put together here are the starter apps that I think are important for anyone trying to get into the data analyst role. You got to have sheets and, and Excel, right? So spreadsheet analysis is key part. Second, Lucid and Visio, I've used them a lot uh, in my career. It kind of helps you uh, visually see process diagrams, which I think become very important. Thirdly, SQL uh, language, which I've said before, you know, as a database, you can start with MySQL and, and start to load data and, and start to query data. So at least you can get an experience there. Lastly, you can see uh, visualization tools, Looker, Tableau, Power BI, you can pick one or two and then start. And you can start to leverage the visualization capabilities of those tools. And this is a starting point, so hopefully, uh, as you progress in your career, you'll start to add more uh, apps. What I've put together is a roadmap. What I think is uh, a practical path for someone who wants to get into the data analyst field is, is about three to six months, depending on if you know SQL before or if you have done visualization. So I would say three to six months is a time frame where you can start. You know, step one is just get yourself ingrained into spreadsheets, start to learn SQL, you know, start working with the database. Once data is in, start doing data wrangling, query the tables, you know, start to get a feel of how data is aggregated, join tables and start to see correlation of how data is related and start using those visualization tools that I've alluded to earlier. And then, you know, start in the end start to understand the analytics reporting and insight of the data uh, where a lot of uh, business key stakeholders are interested to see and, and that's kind of the journey what i think has helped a lot of other people that have become data analysts hopefully this video was helpful and i'll be creating more videos like this please add some comments let me know if there's something you want to see more of you know we can get into each of these steps and dig deeper into some of the toolings and some of the processes that can help you in your career thanks everyone see you next time